What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video with me, the Mighty Miguel. Today we're going to be talking about my 10 tips and tricks for No Man's Sky. Um, these are basically things that I nearly got to the end of the game and didn't know some of these things. So I'm hoping to share the things that I've learned with you guys in this video. Let's take a look. So the first tip that I've got for you guys is do the tutorial when you start a brand new game and you have no idea what you're doing. Do the tutorial. I've had so many people, they start a new game, they have no idea what they're doing, but their buddies are playing, so they want to jump in with their buddies straight away, so they just jump straight into a game. Instead of creating a new game, they join straight into their buddies' game, right from the word go, and it just screws them because it glitches the game, for one. Um, you don't end up with all the blueprints and all that sort of stuff, for two, and they have no idea how to play the game, for three. So, but... All means, please, please, please do the tutorial. When you start the game, it tells you in the bottom right corner every little thing you need to do. I mean, I've started a brand new game here. I'm hoping it'll tell me what to do in a few seconds. Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Recharge radiation protection with sodium. Locate sodium with the scanner by pressing C. And it'll tell you the scanner's broken and what you need to fix it. But anyway, do the tutorial. It's massively, massively, massively important. Don't just join straight into a game with your buddies. Do the tutorial. I don't know how many times I need to say it. Alright, tip number two I have for you guys is the quest log. If you press P, it'll take you to a different menu. Same as if you click escape on uh, PC. Um, this, this menu has discoveries, milestones, log, guide, and options. Uh, options are pretty self-explanatory. You can fit all the options. Um, if annoying people join your game that you don't want them to join, uh, you can go to Network and Voice and kick them out here, or mute them, or have Network play off like I do. Because so many people join my game, it's ridiculous. Um, the guide is basically just a quick how-to of how to get everything. There's a thing in here called Crafted Products. If you have no idea how to make something, come in here. If it's possible for you to make it, it'll have a little... What is that? Like a wrench and a screwdriver on it? You can click on that and it'll explain to you exactly how to make it. It'll even make it a secondary mission for you. Which brings me to the next button, the log, which has a complete log of every mission and every little thing you're trying to do at the moment. Uh, this is a brand new game, so it just says repair the scanner and awakenings. Um, then it has all your milestones logged in. You can see what rank you are with what race, what you've done, what you need to do next. Brilliant. Brilliant screen. I had no idea that this screen was here till like halfway through the game. Um, and you've also got the discoveries, which is basically where you can upload your discoveries to the server. Now, the upload all system doesn't work. I've clicked on it, I've pressed E, I've done everything, it will not work. And of course, the one time that I say that, it's going to work. Um, most of the time it doesn't work. If it's, if it's not working, just click here and do it all individually. And uh, you'll get your Momo money. You can see there I've got 35 nanite clusters. Of course, that button's going to work now because it's never worked for me before. But, if that button doesn't work, just click on all the little dots. Uh, I believe red dots means you didn't discover that system. Uh, if there's no dot in there, it means it's not uploaded yet. And yellow dot means it's updated. But anyway, onwards to tip number three. Alright guys, tip number three is... Set up a farm for yourself. Now, on the planet where I live on, you can see my base over there. It's not far away at all. Right close to it, there's a big salt deposit here. Now, I haven't mined this properly, but I've set up these automated or autonomous mining units. Now... You get these later on in the game, they're not too hard to make, you just need a heap of uranium. Uh, I struggled at first to get the uranium, because it was hard to mine. However, the ships coming in and out of stations can have uranium. Um, you usually find one with about a thousand, and that's you're set after that. Easy done. Uh, once you got these units though, you can just plug them on the, uh, on the mineral that you want to mine, fill her up with carbon, and it'll basically keep hammering away till it gets a full stack. So I've got a full stack of salt here, it's worth 75k pretty much. And I can tra take that out, and it'll start mining again. And when I come back here later... Okay, it's decided to mine copper now. It seems to be random as to what it gives you, depending on what the planet has. I mean, this planet obviously has copper and salt. There you go, it's got one copper now, and it'll keep mining until that stack's full again. Let's see if the other ones do the same. It really does seem to be random what it gives you. That one's going to do copper again. Maybe it's going to jump back and forth between copper and salt. Oh, i got no more carbon. But anyway, definitely set up some of those. As I said, they're not hard, that hard as long as you can get the uranium, which you can find from, you know, other fl players flying around the game. Uh, really awesome to have. I mean, I've just made 150,000. 
from doing what? Sticking some carbon in a machine and walking over here for five, not even five minutes. Not bad. And if you have, you can have five per stack and they never seem to run out. You seem to, as long as you just keep reloading them with carbon and emptying out the, uh, the slot of, or the stack, they'll just keep going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Which is pretty good. You got an unlimited stack of money here for just, for very few, a few minutes of work, a, like an hour. Brilliant. Here's a sneaky little hot tip that, you know, it's, it kind of seems obvious, but I didn't really think about it till now. Uh, it's not on the list, though. Um, you don't have to walk right up to every little thing. Like, if you need carbon, you don't have to walk right up to every single carbon thing and shoot it. Use your range, mate. Use the range. Like, this, your mining beam has some seriously good range. I can mine that all the way from over here, no problem. Let's see how far I can mine, actually. Just check this real quick. That tree's like reasonably far. I don't want to walk right up to it because I'm trying to save time. Okay, I'm still doing full damage. Still doing full damage. Still doing full damage. Okay, what about the tree behind it? Still doing full damage. Wow. So that's a hot trip. Use your range. You don't have to run right up to every little thing to mine it. If you're just mining, just blap it from a mile away. What about that one? Okay, I'm getting a little bit less damage there, but as I move closer, it does more. I'm in the 80s now, 86, 80, 90s, 100s. Okay, so I'm doing maximum damage there again. So it still works really, really far away, but you do less damage the further away you get. Use your range, it'll save you massive amounts of time. Okay, hot tip number four, guys. The visor upgrades. If you talk to the, I believe it's the multi-tool dude, uh, not only does he sell a gun, well, apparently this one doesn't, but he also sells these upgrades for your visor. Now, I didn't know about these visor upgrade sellers nearly at the end of the game. So if you talk to, click on purchase upgrades. Uh, obviously, you want the better ones first. The S being the best, A, B, C, after that. And you want a visor upgrade. Uh, oh, sorry, a scanner module upgrade. So basically, that will upgrade your visor. It says, internal chip upgrades improve scan radius, which is like, meh. But this is the important part significantly increasing the value of discovery data. Now, that's just a C-class, it's not really that sexy, but if you find the good ones of those, the A's or the S's, absolutely grab those. Now, I have the... Where is it? Analysis, no, waveform, no. Hang on, visor upgrade, multi-tool. Okay, so I have the A-class analysis visor upgrade. It gives me plus 8,486% to discovering things, to discovering fauna. So that means when I discover some fauna, instead of getting like a hundred bucks or 200 bucks or getting a thousand or 2000 bucks, I get like 80,000, which is crazy. If you can get one or two or three of those, um, you'll be getting like over a hundred thousand units for discovering one thing. So that means every planet you go to, if you discover say five things and you're getting say, I don't know, 100 to 200,000 units, you're nearly making a million units every new planet you go to and every five things you discover. Which is insane considering that, that there's, what, 18 octillion or quintillion worlds to discover and they all have new things to discover. You can basically make a big stack of money every planet you go to. That is awesome. Nobody told me about it till way later on in the game. I've tip tipped you about it right at the start. Make sure you get that. It is super important that it gives you a massive stack of money right from the word go. Now, the next tip we're going to roll into is when you come into these upgrade areas, there's a guy over here that sells, well, he basically sells backpack upgrades or suit upgrades. If I click on them, you get the same sort of thing, but with suit upgrades. Now, behind him, there's a little hologram with a backpack in, the, in a suit. Now, I've grabbed this one already so you can't see it. But maybe I'll try and find one real quick. Alright guys, so the suit upgrade will look like this. You come to a shop, you got the normal dude at the front, and then you got the hologram in the back. If you click on the hologram, it asks you if you want to purchase a new slot for your suit. Which of course everybody says yes, because who doesn't want more slots? But what it doesn't say, and it literally does not say it anywhere on the screen, there's no button anywhere and no explanation, which is just crazy, is if you press E, it switches the type of slot you can buy. So I didn't know that I could buy these uh, cargo slots and technology slots till later on. I mean, the price goes up depending on how many you got, but it's just 
That is absolutely crazy that it doesn't say that anywhere. Um, the obviously the upgrade slots are for upgrading your weapon and stuff to you know leave the normal slots of room. It leaves you space for your stuff, and the cargo slots carry twice as much. They're basically space space ship size slots that are on your suit, which are freaking awesome. Um, definitely use that. Bam, and now I got a new slot. Okay, I don't know why that's making that sound. That's weird. Definitely use that. Nobody told me about that. I nearly got to the end of the game and didn't know that I could buy different types of slots. I've got a million normal slots, none of the other ones. Incredible. Definitely check out that. Alright guys, so tip number seven is weapon and shield upgrades. Now, I didn't really think a lot about the weapon and shield upgrades right at the start, especially for the ship, but... The amount of difference that having good weapon and shield upgrades makes in a fight is unbelievable. This guy at the moment, I'm pretty confident I can just sit here and let him wail on me. He will not be able to break my shields very easily. I am taking so many hits. And while he turns around to attack again, my shields will start going back up. Now he's probably going to kill me if I just sit here, but the fact that I can take that much beating, just sitting still, now imagine if I'm trying to actually avoid his attacks. How hard it's going to be for him to kill me. So that's shield upgrades. Now the weapon upgrades, honestly, don't use the main gun. The, la the normal plasma guns you get are just scrub guns. They don't do barely anything. I mean, I can blap him and blap him and blap him. It just it barely even hurts him. Build the other weapons. I've built the... Silotron Ballista and the shotgun thing? The Positon Injector with double upgrades. Now, if you build the other weapons, they already do a lot of damage. Now, the other thing that you need to remember is that the upgrades make them even more powerful. Now, this shotgun is just insane. Instantly dead! Instantly! Bang, 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 dead. Like, there's no... The shotgun is just insanely powerful. Okay, I'm going to wait for them to send more. I'm going to show you this, uh... What's it called again? Silotron Ballista. So with the shield upgrades and the weapon upgrades... Oh, look at those numbers. It's doing a thousand damage a hit. Three thousand, three thousand, three thousand, you're dead. We pretty much killed that guy in four hits. First one did a thousand, the next three did like three to four thousand each hit. Insane how much more damage you can do. Two thousand damage. Come here. Wow, dead. Now this rolls me into the next tip and trick which if you got a moment of like they're not attacking you, quickly call in your freighter if you want to get away. Can I warp freighter here? Why? Why can't I warp my freighter here? Okay, looks like I'm fighting another round. Wow, instantly dead. And I nearly took his mate as well. That shotgun though. It's absolutely insane how much damage it does. So as I was saying, if you're in trouble, just quickly call in your freighter. Oop. Freighter. Apparently mine can't warp here, which is super annoying when I'm trying to make a video. Oh, it's because it's right there already. But anyway, quickly warp in your freighter. <laughs> and just jump in. And the, uh, the Popo will leave you alone. Now this works basically in any system as long as your freighter isn't like a hundred meters away like mine was. Um, as I said, just hit X, hit Q, hit F. Bang, bang, bang. You walk straight in your freighter and then once you undock again, the Popo are gone. Magic. And you're free to do whatever you want. Don't struggle to try and get to the station. Don't try and squirm towards a planet and hide. Just call the freighter, land on it, come out again, you're good to go. 
Awesome. Okay, so this brings me to my next tip, which is always carry sodium. Now you guys just saw my shields went down. I was going to die. I just quickly open the, uh, the ship menu, hit your shield, click on your sodium, and close it again, and keep fighting. This will save your life every time. It'll regen your shields. As long as you have sodium, it'll put your shields back to maximum every time, no matter what. So that's a really quick tip. Always, 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 always carry sodium. You have no idea how many times I hear it in comms. People go, oh, I'm in a space fight. Cool. Oh, fuck. I got no sodium. And they die straight away. Guaranteed. Always, 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 always carry sodium. I mean, I myself, I usually have a stack in the ship, even though this one doesn't for some reason. And I definitely have a big stack in my suit at all times. Always carry sodium. Massively important. Now the other cool thing that I forgot to mention about, uh, mention about space battles is if your frigates are close by, especially your combat frigate, if it's close by, it'll help you out in a fight. If you're getting attacked and you're in the system and your frigate, your combat frigates are just sitting there doing nothing, it'll pop up on the screen saying, blah, 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 combat frigate coming to assist. And suddenly the, your combat frigate will appear on grid and it'll launch a heap of fighters and it'll fire your cannons to come to your aid. Which is awesome. So awesome to see it. You're under attack by pirates. Your massive ship shows up out of nowhere. Says, hey boss, I got this man. Spits out some fighters and they come help you. They don't do tons of damage, but it still looks amazing. Now this brings me to my last tip, which is buy stuff from the other ships. Honestly, if I had spent less time mining and more time just buying crap from the other ships, I would have been way, way, way better off. Any ship that docks anywhere, especially in your freighter as well, just walk right up to them, have a quick chat, ask them what they're selling, and take a quick look. This guy doesn't have anything. He's got sodium, which is also super, always super important. He's got um, magno gold, which you can melt down into ionized cobalt and phosphorus. Actually, I think it just gives you phosphorus. Uh, that's kind of rare that you need to, to build some stuff. Pure ferrite always comes in handy. What's that give you? Perfurin and chlorine. Awesome. It's basically like having a free shopping network at your fingertips all the time. Uh, especially if they're carrying uranium and stuff like that. That's super, super, super handy if you can buy a stack of uranium. There you go. Uranium. 2,463 uranium. Now the stack will probably cost a bit. Let's say you take a thousand, fifteen, seventy-nine grand to not run out of fuel for the next two days. You will never run out of takeoff fuel for your ship in forever. That will keep you going for a long time. Seventy grand to not have to mine the bloody takeoff fuel all the time is an amazing deal. Absolutely amazing deal. The amount of time that'll save you is crazy. But make sure you hit up the other guys. Use them as a shopping network. They all have different stuff. Different resources, different things, different everything. Use them. They are so handy to have. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe video. Make sure you check out the rest of my videos, my Spotify playlist, my Facebook page, and our merch shop. It's doing really well as well. Um, but anyway, fly safe guys, and I'll see you on No Man's Sky. Until then, peace. See ya. Bye.